Welcome to another episode of 100 Songs. Today we're going to talk about the song The Past is a Grotesque Animal from Of Montreal from the 2007 album Hissing Fauna Are You the Destroyer. Uh, this particular album, I believe, from Of Montreal, who's an indie pop band, I think you can call them that, is darker than its predecessors, and um, that's what I've that's what I read anyway. I I'm not super well versed at all in Of Montreal. I have uh, more of their albums on my really long list of stuff that I want to dig a little deeper into. I just can't seem to get to everything that I want to listen to. But I don't remember where I discovered this. I think I heard this song somewhere and uh, was kind of captivated by the... um, a little bit by the the pulsing beat and the kind of post-rock guitar towards the beginning that is really frenetic pace to it and it comes in at almost 12 minutes long i kind of like longer songs for some reason it's it's sort of a well, not some reason it's likely due to when i'm really enjoying something and i'm really getting into something uh then you know more is better i guess uh it, so uh, that's a pretty simple explanation, I think. Um, like I said, it's it's got a frenetic dance beat, and uh, it might stress you out. Actually, the <laughs> the song is all about its creator, Kevin Barnes of of Montreal, and you could tell he was going through some shit, um, and uh, he made this album all about himself, and the uh, anguish and uh, self-reflection that he was going through at the time, probably, I'm guessing. Um, The music, like the lyrics, builds and becomes more intense, captivating um, and turbulent, I guess is a good word to describe it. Uh, Everything about it, it, as it progresses, grows and builds and it gets kind of louder and um for 12 minutes you know it's kind of a lot to take but uh, i really i dig it so i think even if you're not that much into indie pop uh this is one of the few pop songs on my 100 songs list that's probably i don't know i don't know how many but this is one of the few ones it is uh worth checking out just on its own this uh, and the, and the whole album is good i think but i particularly like this song and this is sort of what i go to once in a while um this album was also their commercial breakthrough as well although i think the other ones are uh, a couple preceding this they were really building their popularity um the lyric that i chose to put on the top of the screen here is two-thirds of the way through the song maybe and it's right before uh this kind of long instrumental break uh the song's really in in a couple of parts it's the you know beginning instrumental piece and then a lot of lyrics of him um going, going through a lot and then there's a uh instrumental break there's a lot of keyboards and um, it's 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 cool. But this particular lyric is right before that break. Um, but you know, no matter where we are, we're always touching by underground wires. Um, the music title, or sorry, the uh, this particular lyric is a double entendre. Uh, it's got kind of a mundane aspect as well as um, more of a romantic, I guess, piece to it, which is no matter where we are, touching by underground wires could clearly be the internet because we're a connected world now because of the internet. And it is connected by uh, a lot of underground wires connecting things 
servers and what have you. And then the more romantic sense, it's this, uh, this emotional connection that you can have with someone where you feel like you're always connected. Uh, not literally, of course, just, just, uh, because of your past and your history and your love for each other. Um, so I think that's, that's pretty cool. And I like how it breaks into the instrumental part at the end. So we're, that's what we're going to listen to. We're going to listen to the last part of the lyrics and then a little bit of the, the breakout part. So there's a good sampling, like a very short sampling. It does go back into some more lyrics and then it goes into another longer instrumental part, much longer instrumental part, the last couple of minutes of the song. Highly recommend you check it out. And now we are going to go to the wheel to identify our next topic. It's not really a topic, is it? It's a song. Okay, Joe's Garage. The title track of the double album Joe's Garage by Frank Zappa. So we're going to get into that next time. Hope you have a good day, evening, whatever. Talk to you next time.